Good evening, it's um, Saturday, October 28th, 2023, camping up at Long Pond State Forest. Uh, basically, I drove back from West Virginia today. I was, um, I was going to stay at either Aft's Front or County Bridge, you know, in Pennsylvania, but uh, I was at Paw Paw, and I said I'm fairly far east, and I would, I haven't ever taken Interstate 81 North, and uh, so I did that. It was a long trip, though. I wish I hadn't gone that way, um, just because there's a lot of traffic, and it's a lot farther back to New York than it is just to North Central Pennsylvania from Paw Paw. But uh, I made it here. I had um, got, I stopped and got a five-hour energy at six o'clock, so I stay awake for driving. And now I am super wired, even though it's almost midnight. But I have a very basic, decent campsite here up at uh, Long Pond. It's going to rain early tomorrow, so I decided it was not a great idea to you know, get a lot of gear out. But I did put some lights out, and I started the camp stove off. I didn't get here till um, literally until. 8:30 because of you know by the time I stopped to get to get to run to the restroom and then uh, get those energy shots and some bananas um, it was a long trip I actually thought about stopping at Danny's getting dinner or somewhere it's along the line but which is I was getting so late and I was like oh, I, I just really didn't realize how far it was going to be to go all the way back to New York tonight um, but Hey, it's free to camp here, and the weather's supposed to, the rain's not supposed to start quite as early uh, this far east compared to if I was here in the Wellsboro area in Pennsylvania. So I guess that's good. I want to do the Pine Creek Gorge tomorrow, but uh, it's, it's going to rain, and it's going to be raining before, before dawn, which uh, means that, um, you know, I wouldn't really be able to cook a breakfast there. So um, and I said I wasn't going to be able to ride, so I was like, you know. Closer back home, I'm in less than two, about two hours from home now, so uh, come the morning I can get things taken down, although I'd like to try to have a real breakfast here, uh, I'd rather, you know, have some actual coffee, because I mean, I won't worry about bathroom breaks as much, because there are two different rest areas on eight, Interstate 88, so uh, that should be fine, and I'll get home a little earlier, which will be good, because I, you know, he's been gone a week, I want to get, uh, Unpack, have some, um, you know, some time to need some bread, get that ready up for the week coming up, and I want to also soak bean or soak uh, peas for pea soup and some other good stuff for the week coming up. But it's been a great vacation. I mean, it's been a bummer that both the Saturday I left and the Saturday, uh, Sunday coming back, it was going to rain. It's going to rain, but uh, I mean, even today was great in Paw Paw for bike riding. Morning started out cloudy when I was taking that, finishing taking out camp, and it was foggy in West Virginia. But then it was beautiful. I got up north to to um, to the Pawpaw area. Even when I was in Cumberland, it was all right. By then, it was cleared out. But uh, yeah, vacation comes to an end tomorrow. Tomorrow I head home, may get some apples and onionata, and then just kind of move forward. I'm already thinking about the next trip. Maybe I'll go out to Madison County next weekend or the following weekend. Uh, because we one's gonna be election day weekend and one, the other one is Veterans Day weekend, so I you know I can just stack an extra day on to have a four day trip then before rifle season starts and uh, yeah move forward. It was a great vacation. I mean the weather was beautiful, cold that Monday and cloudy on Friday, but other than that it was you know in the 60s each day and sunny, which is really hard to beat for late October when you're at 3,700 feet. But yeah, um, it's almost midnight, so I should end the video now.